Oh boy. We're already here. I was holding my breath for a minute. <coughs> that was really bad timing for the music though. But of course, guys. Hello, gamers. What's up, baby? I forgot my intro. So yes, finally, 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 there we go. <coughs> so yes, finally, finally, finally. So of course, back when another really quick, of course, of course, poggers. Let take my video. But yeah, of course, so um, finally here. It's crazy, man. Eight years really over. For both Global and JP. But yeah, I always like to, um, of course, make, you know, um, my full thoughts and everything towards the anniversary, my full opinions and everything, like how I handle it, everything. I've done this for a six year, I did it for seven year. I still have my, sli I still have my seven year and my, t no, I don't, I delete those. Because I was like, hey, they're just kind of outdated at this point. But yeah, I kind of, I did, again, I've been doing it since I want to say, like, I think I did it for four year. I didn't do it for three years. I remember doing it for four years, just like out of randomly nowhere. Just like, yeah, you know what, I'm just going to do that. Like, just randomly. Um. But, yeah. I definitely remember doing it during four years. I just randomly did. I was like, you know what? I actually like the four years. Let's get some of my full thoughts on it, like, and everything. I just want to get everything out, like, how I, about it and everything. And this video, of course, is another one, too. I'm going to go try to upload this one. Isn't that I can, though? I try to usually do it right after the celebration's over. But, I mean, whatever's whatever, honestly. So, yeah. But yeah, well, of course, just could go for like the down, like the um, log of bonuses, the down celebration, every. Blah, 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 blah. I did not prepare at all for the video, but yeah, just my full thoughts and everything for the eighth year. Though again, this is gonna be a long, lengthy video, though, so you're gonna hear a lot of talking, get some snacks, popcorn, get that greasy pizza out your face. I definitely see it there. I see you all trying to order that Uber Eats in your in your cart. I see you putting that sheets hot dog in your cart. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, this is going to be definitely a longer video because I'm going to just talk about my full thoughts and everything. If I talk fast, sorry. Again, it, it happens. I can't help that, though. But I am more relaxed, though, so I'm going to try to keep it down a little bit, though. But yeah, of course, um, again, we just had so much stuff during this anniversary. It was insane. Just, like, you know, trying to dissect and go over everything from part one, two, and three. It was just, part three definitely surprised me. All of us, I want to say, in, in general because of the, just everything that came out with it. Like, whew, it was a lot. They're not going to go over, like, everything, like, I already went over, though. Just going to get my full thoughts and everything on to everything that happened. I just like to kind of get in the zone a little bit, though. But, yeah, overall, this anniversary was pretty good, actually. I had a lot of good surprises left and right, though. From part 1, 2, and 3. Like I said, part 3, I think, was the best one. I also thought we were going to get an EX part, but I guess that was 7 Year exclusive. I think 7 Year did a lot of good things, too. Like, it, it was... It was really, really good, though. I do like the GT Spirit Bomb OST. I forgot I mentioned that, too, as well. That was actually a really good OST. Um, when I went to the Spirit Bomb Goku, the Z one was okay. Nothing crazy, though. Uh, just the start, in the story, of course, the active skill of the piano was just beautiful. But, yeah, of course, we had, um, we had a whole full countdown. Of course, we had, like, log bonus, ticket stones that you can log in and get every single day. Again, that lasts from now until, like, I think the 19th. So, yeah, make sure to get those up when you can. Like, I, think, I think Gold Boots just gets around, like, 120. 140, 180? No, 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 no. I think, I want to say around 180. I gotta look up how many soon, because I forgot I mentioned the, 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 always want to say, always forget the, um, um, thank you, like the, you know, number one app store rewards. Like I said, everything for the 8th year is going to be all over me, it's from the end cards to the, um, I up above, everywhere, like I up here and everything. So, yeah. Again, we got the countdown, we got the logo bonus, again, typical stuff that I already mentioned, though. What did, what did, what did come with the countdown? I forgot. Oh, yeah, the new line thing. I think Gold War already got this, though, where you pretty much press this little campaign button. Like how JP has with the line. It's literally just like that. You press the button, you get a ticket. So Gold War got extra stuff because of that. Of course, this is always a thing. Like, you know, returning players coming back, though. Um, all story events, etc., etc. I don't need to go over that. What else was in here? Oh, yeah, the three, yeah, the three minutes. That one's really good, too. I think this, I actually did some good stuff from the Baba Shop, though, even though this is always here. Go to XP, that's really, really good. You yeah, the time limit. Oh, yeah, these growth um, badges. I forgot about those. That was from, like, like, like two months ago now when we had that global preview for the anniversary. It's revealed everything, though. So, yeah, I forgot about these. Yes, make sure you get these done when you can, though. I forgot about that, though. I kind of forgot about that, though. Okay, it's time. Oh, never mind. Okay. Because then you get those and you get, like, rewards and everything. I think I used, I didn't even think I used mine at all. I didn't doubt I think about it. I think there's nothing really in there that I needed, though, so I don't really need to go over that, though. Of course, in the part one for the anniversary, we a lot of good stuff in, too. What do they bring? Yeah, we got the rainbow ticket back. We got the eight-year ticket. Again, people were, again, we got 50 tickets instead of 77. When I was, again, we thought it could be 88, though. Then, you know, a nine-year, 99, then we get, like, 100 technically units with the 10th year. 10th year, I feel like it's going to be, like, heroes. 
they actually got transformed Goku and Vegeta that have a chance to go through every form they ever been in. For Goku, it was like Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, 3, um, God, I think, Blue, I think it was like Blue Kaioken, um, and like, <clears throat> it was, excuse me, like regular UI, then like Mastered, I think Vegeta had like Super Saiyan 2, Super, um, God, Evolution Blue, or Royal Blue, um, but yeah, I mean, color is kind of Royal Blue though, but yeah. And yeah, I feel like that can be like 10th year. Like a Goku and Vegeta they go through every form. Because, you know, this year we got a, a combo unit. Next year will probably be a confusion. Then there'll probably be another combo unit. Again, it always has a little pattern with it. Like, you know, year one, I mean, year one, I don't really count that. Year two, we had, like, you know, a Goku and Vegeta. Year three, we had a combo. Year four, we had a separate Goku and Vegeta. Year f five, we had a fusion. Year six, um, what was year six? A Goku and Vegeta. Year seven, a go no, yeah, year six, yeah, separate Goku and Vegeta, like separately. Because we had another Goku and Vegeta combo for seven year, eight year, we had another Goku and Vegeta combo. I feel like ninth year could be a standalone Goku and Vegeta. We're gonna double, double Vegeta for ninth year. Because people are thinking that's the theory, because we had double Gogeta last year, technically. Which, yeah, we technically did, even though the fusion, you know, wasn't an actual fusion. I mean, we had one fusion, but the other one wasn't an actual fusion, though, so. Whatever, I still count that though. Yeah, but it's energy campaign. I just gotta make sure to still get that done when you can. Because you get some awesome rewards from that. What else we have here? The Doodle Confess, of course, which is, was a shock. I hit, I saw Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Vegeta. I was like, what is this unit? For the eighth year? And I thought, like, GT Goku. I was like, are we going back to this again? Like, and then so we got another Goku combo, Vegeta, Vegeta Goku combo card. So, I still count that though, too. It was a couple of things because of packs. We had some fabulous, of course, purple stone stuff. We had some good discounts. We had, of course, the Zenos, of course, in here. Uh, oh, yeah, New Zoken Fest. I forgot about that, too. Of course, the Save Me tickets. Uh, the regular tickets. Again, they have LRs on there. You just get SRs and um, SSRs in there. Of course, like I said, all the regular LRs. I think it's like Zamasu's in there. Uh, I think Golden Freeze is in there, too, I think. I can't remember or not. I think any unit, I think, this was with the yellow coins, I believe. Or tail coins, everything about well that though. Some fabulous rewards you'd be trading, some with the eight year coins. Of course, more red and purple stone stuff. Again, they always kind of tease the UZAs, which, yeah, again, down celebrations will probably get to do that too, because last year we did have you had Goku and. Evolution Blue Vegeta? No, 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 he was before that. I can't remember. More line campaigns to get more stones. That was really good though. New story events, which brought a Hercule and of course a new LR Boo and Bobbity. Uh, with this event, with, story, with this story event, and with this one, we got two new support members. We actually did look pretty cool, though, in my opinion, though. That feels decent, though. Bobbity, who oh, I'm sorry, disappointment, disappointment all overall. I'm so sorry. Bobbity was a disappointment, and then I felt like they knew that already because, man, like a good idea, but it just, it just should have just been Bobbity, not standby Majin Vegeta. I get they want people, free play players, to use the use, use new mechanic. And, like, you know, get used to it and do this and do that with it, but nah, not a good idea with that. I'm, I'm sorry. Good idea and concept, but again, that could have been a bit of Confess. Bobby could have been a little Confess, though. Like, he could, like, Bobby can be a good Dope Confess. I mean, pile up. Oh, now I feel like he fits more as a free play unit, though, honestly. Like, Jero in like 19, I feel like that could be like a good free play LR or some rebel unit on the, you know, points and everything, because we've had that in, like, a few, three, four years now, so. Yeah, the speed battle came back. We got a brand new Shadow Dragon Saga, a new difficult event in the, in the Shadow Dragon Saga event, and this event, too. I forgot about this. I didn't even, I don't think no one really did this event that much, though. But hey, we got brand new Easy of course, in Super Vegeta and Super Boo, both amazing, top tier, you know, not top tier, though, but pretty good. Boo actually is amazing. Yeah, he actually is really good. They really fixed him up. Super Vegeta, not bad. Decent, though, but not bad. Um, in my opinion, anyway. Because the brand new is a battlefield, and I think that's pretty much it, though, honestly. Yeah, all the stuff from um, the campaign. What did part two bring? Oh, yeah, all the music. I forgot about that. You get that plays in like a. It's like a melody um, event where pretty much you play like in all, like it's from Dragon Ball, like OG Dragon Ball to like, I think, Super with the Savior song. And like, it, it, you play, pretty much play. You pretty much about every unit that's been in that theme song, like Goku goes to UI, the very last days of Master UI, from the intro from Super, the second, the third, fourth, how, which one if you want to go with. 
Oh, what else? I mean, they brought Don Don, of course, from GT, from the GT trio. They brought that from the opening. Again, units were, uh, were pretty much based off the openings for Dragon Ball and, like, everything, etc., etc. Of course, our first ever, like, I want to say not first ever, but... Oh, sorry. My nose got really stuffy there. Um, double Carnival unit, though, for Gold Ball. So we got a new Kai Goku and Z Gohan. I like Kai Goku a little bit better, though, just because growing up nostalgic-wise was really good, though. But, yeah. We got the new, you know, duplicate rainbow banner, which you get rainbow tickets. You can summon a dupe banner, which is pretty much the same banner as the anniversary. And, of course, the Carnival, you can summon to get those. Um, those weren't that bad, either. Um, Bonds pack, the new melodies, uh, pusher missions. Uh, oh yeah, Goldbo did have this too. Like, you know, if you have, like, if you have, like, you can get like out of Kai and a Dozy Sleepy Kai. I was, I think that was pretty much like every multi. I did it. It wasn't kind of crazy. I, mean, I think they wanted you to waste these. So I was like, oh yeah, new LO coming out. There you go again. You don't got to do it. It's just it's, it, not pointless, but also just, huh? I guess you don't really have to do it though. Of course. I guess pretty much of the project celebration, um, new summertime campaign mission, so you can get more extra red, uh, rainbow tickets, which a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, which I was like, this is hinting at the, uh, I feel like they, I mean, again, they had this weekly growth, I mean, the Kale celebration for Goldboy just had the two with the Frieza themed, this one was growth themed, I'm like, oh boy, he's using some stuff right there, though, but yeah, no new LR Brienne, oh my gosh, just kidding, just kidding. Um, I think that was pretty much the oh yeah we do oh yeah I forgot about this event so this event pretty much brought like a, another link level event which was amazing and I loved it you get purple keys which you can pretty much for free which you can link level any unit I think the automatically to ten if you need that I probably just say those just in case because you might get something like this somewhere for the down celebration again they could bring it back though like, this they brought my guru last year so being guru last year hey, we, we need a GT event based off this too I don't like guru. Hmm, I don't know. But this mission was amazing though. This bro, I didn't even realize this was an even celebration. Cause I think I just went over part three for JP when I came out originally though. But this was awesome. This was awesome. More of a joke history stages, of course, that was all obvious. Oh yeah, new easy at Kalkin Goku is pretty much absorbed. Both amazing campaign both amazing units. Very, very similar though. But yeah, again more spirit bomb stuff. I'm like Okay. Yeah, well if this was the anniversary though, new spirit bomb absorbed Goku and Kaioken. Oh, and I have been a Goku and Vegeta. Avoided uh, Vegeta Spirit Bomb. That would have been funny. Or a Cell Spirit Bomb, because he did do it in the old Budokai game, so it was a Spirit Bomb unit, though. But this was a good idea and a good surprise for me, honestly. I was like, oh my gosh, what are they doing? This is so awesome. But yeah, that was actually wasn't that bad, though, either. And I think that was pretty much it, though, actually. Yay, Yamcha. Yeah, the Dragon Ball Melee's event were pretty much, yeah, you're fighting all the, um, yeah, from Ultra Dragon Ball to, of course, like, I think Super, you pretty much, like, about all the characters based off the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, um, sorry, wrong button, based off the, like, all the Dragon Ball openings, and part three bought, uh, brought a lot of new stuff, I love the art right here, though, by the way, like, you know, them finishing the spirit bomb and everything, but I seize the victory, but yeah, we brought, again, two new EZAs again, Bobby, like I said, nothing crazy, Hercule, nothing crazy, best free by units still were six here, they did so much good on those, I do jam out for Vegeta now, but kind of random though, too. And of course, the best surprise ever. The fifth is getting the easy A, so next year the six years will probably get their easy A's. And that, that'll probably be the seven years. Then, etc. So, sort of, probably every year is probably going to be different, though. Then, eight years, going to get theirs in nine years, etc., etc., nine, ten. For ten years, I feel like they can go all out with the seven stuff, though. But this was amazing. These guys are amazing. Again, nothing changed that much. Both are pretty much the same unit. They got brand new OSTs for their active skills. So much goodness, like this was the best part. Oh, yeah, the eight year battle. We get skill obviously about all the eight, uh, every unit from the anniversary, and we just get the final set for the tickets. Um, it was pretty much the thing. Again, part three, I think, was the best part though. Honestly, the anniversary battle was a great idea, and this was awesome. This this was awesome. I loved it. And of course, I'm gonna go over the bit. Was it the banners? Oh, yeah, the banners. I, I didn't want to go over that though. The GD Goku, and of course, like the uh, the, the Z duo, the Z spirit bomb duo, and the Z um, and the GT spirit bomb duo. Um, that's all good call them, yeah. The, um, no, because we'll get more of it in the future, though. So, yeah, Boo Bros, GT Bros. Um, well, pretty much actually pr pretty good. Again, continuation from last year. Again, this is pretty much just the same better from last year. Just has some sprinkles on there. So, I'm like, because last year they had every unit was an LR and it was perfect. This year they even ramped it up more because we had the gamuts on here. We got cooler. We got the, um, 
Dogu and Vegeta on here, which are, again, some great units. Seven years are on here, which are still really, really good units. Frieza's on here. Goku's on here again. It may have aged a little bit, though, if you really want to go that far, but not bad. Yo, Goku's still decent. Evolution with Vegeta. The GC Goku and GT Vegeta are still good. Bohan's still good. Vegeta, again, and Gogeta got the easy A. So, if you got them, that's a good W. Actually, I did, I did actually end up getting both of them actually on tickets. No, no, I got you on a record line, but I got you on a ticket, though. So, I was like, oh, my God, are you kidding me? This is literally a repeat of the fifth year for me. I could got nothing. Then, later on the tickets, I got them. It was good. It was good. It was good. And, of course, the Part 2 Carnival had some good stuff, too. Again, the Barons aren't, like, the best, though. But I think for Gold for the first time ever, did change it up. Because I think... Goku was supposed to be on here. I think Zabasa was supposed to be on here. I think they did change it up though for JP. I gotta go back and look at that though. But the bit, the, again, they just show a whole bunch of LRs and units. Like they're just old and outdated. So that's why I say don't do the, the, don't do the 300 one because there's a 300 stone version of it. Go with 300 stones on this banner. Again, all these units are old. Like you're not, you, are you really gonna be happy with the Goku? I mean, collection purposes, if you're getting it for the first time, I say yes. But also, like, I'm not gonna use like Goku and Piccolo like that. A good probably use great if you for like well, tournament. You just have another AOB, some more points. That's pretty much it. Like, Gohan's still good, though. He's decent, but nothing crazy. But no, he, like I said, you really did have some movie bosses, a movie heroes, go on the team. I pick those still not that bad. Again, like I said, not really a fan of the side units from last year from Down Celebration, so I'm not like excited for it. But yeah, Goku and Gohan are still decent, like I said, because you have Fatat Factor and Red Zone, the Shadow Dragon Saga event. Like, are these units going to be really good in that event? Or is it like Golden Breeze is, good, is amazing still? Kai Goku's amazing. Kyle Ken's still amazing. Goku's still amazing. This guy's kind of mid. You're still decent. I you have aged at this point, though. It's, hard, it's, it's so sad to say that because when he first came out, he was so awesome. But yeah, Heart Virus Goku again, amazing. Cooler's still good. Um, the monster's still amazing. Kai Gohan's good, though. But I heard like Goku's better. But I mean, both for Valley units, you know, so, like I said, it's not that bad, but also like. Yeah, it's just you're gonna be summoning and getting just random at large left and right. You're gonna get a lot. I have I got like 15 plus nine, almost 19, 16, 17 LRs last year just for the carnivals again. Down celebrations could have probably better ones, so honestly, I say safe for those if you really wanted to go that far. In my opinion, anyway, because again, I think Kai could go on and be on that banner, but probably not because they just came out though. But again, they could be, not, I don't know. But yeah, again, uh, for anniversary though, why I think like GT like. It's like nostalgic wise, but the Z do I think are a little bit better though because they they do so much damage off the bat, they tank so well. These guys do too good too, but you gotta kind of like build them up a little bit though. So, so I feel like that's kind of their weak point, honestly though. But overall, like, like I said, a continuation from last year though, just bringing up some banners and stuff like that. Though not bad though, not not bad for the anniversary overall though. Honestly, I think I think for me, my final thoughts, part three was the best honestly for me. The banners, I like the GT, GT the GT duo just because nostalgic wise. Um, Z duo just are awesome. I still love God Goku. I still love Cooler. I still love the Fubara Freeze. Like a lot of my favorites are on this banner. Like I, I haven't got the cameras yet. I still want to use them. Um, like on this banner, I still love the Nimic Goku. I still love Vegeta. I still love Buhan. I still love the Seven Years. Overall, those anniversary was really really good. Even if you didn't pull anything, even if you pull one of the units, so. I think overall, though, you really should have just gotten some good value out of this. So, like, this is really, really good. That's why I always, I always say, say if we got high value banners like this, you have Gamma, which has good leader skills. You have the GT Duo, which has some good leader skills. You have the second GT Duo, which is are pretty good as well. This guy, so his damage outputs are amazing. Like, Football Freeze is still really, really good. Don't sleep on him. The gods are still one of my favorites in the game. Like, ugh. it's. It's amazing. Like, it's really... You know, the Carnivals were kind of, like I said, the banner was a mess. But, I mean... Overall, though, I still have fun with this anniversary. Not bad. Not, like, the best, though. But, I mean... I say it's a passable. I say it was passable. Not the best. I think Seven Year did really good, though. Seven Year also had problems, too. But, I mean... Yeah, I think Seven Year... I mean, like I said, Six Year was... For me... Eight... Seven, eight Year wasn't that bad, though. The units they chosen, I think, were... Not a bad idea. I think the GT2 was just like a questionable thing. Like, what kind of LR is this? Even though they said they, you know, it's a, you know, we're never like, ever seen before or, you know, blah, 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 blah. Because they were like, oh, your beast go home with Piccolo could be anniversary. It's like, guys, it's going to be a Goku and Vegeta duo. But yeah, this was a shock to me for an anniversary unit. This kind of wasn't, though. But I was like, yeah, they just copied it from Legends. I mean, they copied it from each other, so it doesn't matter. 
Yeah, though, honestly, I don't really, really have to say. I enjoyed the anniversary. Part 3 was probably my favorite part. I think I like the Z banner better. Some of my favorite easy A's in the game. Some exciting surprises within the anniversary were definitely just like the, you know, these two easy A's. These two easy This was the best. Like, this was easily the best part. This was good, too. Part 1 for the banners from, were for me. Pretty much part 1 had a lot of stuff to do, though. And I think this, again, a lot like 1, 2. Yeah, three, four, five, six, like six, seven, like so many easy cases here too. Like that's a lot of good stuff in the celebration. But yeah, though honestly, I mean, hey, I, I had a lot of stuff. Again, part one for me was pretty much like the banners, the tickets, the coins, and stuff like that. You can get I had a lot of good fun with that though too. Um, but again, part one was always gonna be a banner for everybody. Then part two was really just for me. Then part three was this. Then I think the better banner was honestly. I mean, they're both good value, so I can't really like pick one. I. Because you're good, you're still good, you're still good, you're still good. Uh, this banner wasn't that bad either. Like, they're so amazing, they're so amazing. Like, some good, you know, team units, leaders, and overall, some good stuff here. Carnival's real messed up, but overall, wasn't that bad. I actually didn't get enough on this one, though. I like this one better. But yeah, though, see you guys there, though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Go ahead. I'll put you in there. Make sure you for watching. I'll put it over here. I'll put it over my ass. I'll put it over here. You can if you can. Go outside to guys. I'm cooking. Turn around all my friends on the Discord. So, if you can worry, guys are awesome. We got the good ball. All the info, though, of course. Like, check it again. And very simple, very easy, like I said, though, today. But, um, yeah. Third, eight year. Third year. Eight year. Um, not bad. Not bad. Um, yeah, like I guess I'm not crying that my nose is stuffy right now, so that's why I was like, man, I, man, I can't do it right now. My nose is doing too much. But yeah, part three was really good for me. The bones up Goku, Kyle, Kenny, Z were amazing. The um, part one for me was the banners, and of course, the banners were decent though. Nothing crazy, crazy though, because I mean, you know, seven year can you have so many units now in the game, so it's like you're gonna have a lot of repeats that a lot of you know you people don't have. Again, that's the main point. You, you don't have, so you can soon get them. Carnival's run a little bit messy the banner though, but I mean, hey, I get the point. It was still really good though. Still some good enjoyable moments, some good nostalgia animation, enjoyable moments, OST stuff was good, but yeah, the new quests are pretty good too. A lot of fun, every reason, nostalgia, just kid stuff for me though, very busy for DT though, but yeah. See you guys there though, again though. Peace out.